Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Dave's endless search for a new driver. <laughs> Today, we're going back to a budget driver. This driver is retailing at $199.99, and it is, on screen now, it is the PXG 0211 driver. That's a real change for PXG, though, isn't it? Because they used to be renowned for being really expensive, and now, all of a sudden, they're bringing out drivers that are sort of budget More energy. affordable, yeah. So it's an in interesting, even, concept that they have got a more expensive range yeah. they've got some new product coming out which i did see last week which again is going more higher price alongside the paradigms your stealth all, all right. your premium brands then they've also got more affordable drivers such as these ones here so if you are looking for phg you can also get fitted for this so you'll see on the website now you can book a custom fitting for this it comes with multiple options even on the website you will see there that there's a lot of shaft options length of shaft different flexors we've got different three different uh, degree heads that come as standard so and we've also got adjustability in adding loft to a certain degree drivers so again a lot of adjustability a lot of playability but for us and mainly you can go and get fitted for this driver and for a driver that is 200 pounds yeah it's more than half price of your latest drivers and that's why we've got this on the channel we have obviously tested the Inesis 900 yeah driver again a very similar pricing didn't perform as well as we hoped again no. that can be a bit of pilot so, error in dave mrs harrison's dream of new shoes died but yeah. it could be alive again but it could be alive because this driver like we say is 200 pounds it is much more affordable so we're going to hit some shots now we have got the numbers from the tsr and also from the paradigm driver so it'll be very interesting to compare how it competes against those because as we say it is nearly a third of the price so Dave, in with the PXG 0211 driver. First of all, looks wise. I like it. I like the matte finish. It's, yeah. it's sort of two different shades of matte finish, which looks really good. Um, there's obviously the normal X that you get with PXG for the alignment of the club. It says good knocking shot, the Dave. ball off the good team, shot. off the tee. Um, down. Yeah, it looks good. I like it. It's very nice. And that's one thing, looks wise, like the Paradigm, we know that is a two-tone colour. We know we've got the red in the stealth here with the PHG. They've gone away from the shiny top. It is a little bit more matte finish in this model. And again, pictures will be on screen for you now as Dave hits away. Straight away for Dave. It is a little bit of a draw. Yeah, a bit Down low. But 88 miles an hour, which is similar to what he was doing previously. But straight away on those numbers, one thing they do mention with this driver, which is not ideal for Dave, and it is on the screen now, is that it's actually a little bit lower spinning than the previous model. We know for Dave, we want to get a little bit more launch and a little bit more height, and that was spinning at 1,700, so a little mm. bit low. A bit low, yeah. A carry, 175, going 221, so not bad at all. Ooh, hooky. A little bit Okay, let's see what that does. So speed a little bit down there and also a little bit left. So probably the lowest carrying drive we've seen with the drivers we've been hitting recently. So as soon as that's an off-centered hit, down at 135 yards carry. Ran out to 192, but not ideal. So sound and feel, Dave, let's talk about that. How does it sound compared to, we saw last week we had the TSR1 which we know is the leader in the clubhouse. Sound-wise, does it feel? It's, it's a bit louder than the others. A bit louder? But not unduly. It's not like the um, Ping 425 from a couple of years ago or anything like that. No, and that's interesting. So one big thing, obviously, is sound and how it sounds to you. We start to see as soon as you go budget, we do get a louder noise quite often. It was the same with the Inesis 900 yeah. a couple of weeks ago, and that's... One thing you've got to take into consideration when you're trying these, which is good, unlike the Inesis, you can come in, well, you can go and get fitted for this. So you can test the sound because you wouldn't want to go and buy it and get a sound you don't like. And that was a good drive. You can use some behind me every time I take a shot on car. Straight up the middle. My eyes aren't that great, so I will move in as they are on the screen. Very low spin, like we know. 1300 there, carried 185 and went to 230. So that would be performing as good as the Paradigm. Mm, yeah. Not quite as good as the TSR1. No. Right, we know. Certainly a different sound there. Two more shots here for Dave with this driver. 
Instantly we know the off-centered hit hasn't gone as far and that's the one thing as a mid-handicap golfer we need to be very aware of. That is again, a, looks low spinning. So we can see that it's dipping out of the sky very quickly. Only going 152 yards carry there and that's the big thing we've worked on. This is why it's taken so long to find David Driver. We want the one that's going to carry the furthest. There's a few holes at Garforth where he needs to carry trouble. That at 152 with a misstruck shot on the first tee is straight into that trouble. That again, is a good drive, starting up the middle. A little bit of a draw, as you will see on the screen. However, that has only carried 131 yards. So dipping wow. out of the sky. It's gone 190, <laughs> but that's 40 yards total behind. That is a long way behind the carries of both numbers. But a driver that is affordable, but does it perform? That no. is the thing we've looked at there. That's one thing you have to take in consideration. But the good thing about this driver, myself and James tested this driver, we thought it was very good. The numbers for us competed very well against the premium bands. Again, Dave's hit some off-center strikes with all three drivers that we've tested today. But we can see one, which is the cheapest driver, has not gone as far and no. wouldn't be as beneficial for Dave on the golf course. Correct. And that's what you've got to think about. You can go and get fitted for this though. So for example, Dave at Garforth does have a fitting hub. So Dave yeah. can get fitted there. So if you are looking for a PXG driver, Garforth in Leeds is where you can go and get fitted for this driver. It might be one you want to consider. If your budget is around about 200 pounds and you want to get it fitted perfectly for you, go and get fitted. They will got all the shaft options. You've got different lengths, you've got different lofts and it is all personal to you. And that's why we always recommend yep. a fitting. And that's why we're doing this with Dave. So that has been the PXG 0211 driver, 200 pounds. And next week we are going to be putting that against the 723 Tor Edge or Exotics driver, the Ridge bike, as Ooh. it says on the head cover. So another budget driver, another driver that's costing less than your premium brand. So this is certainly a club to look at. We've got it on screen now. You can see there's plenty of adjustability on this. There's one big thing we know what we're going to try for Dave, which is the fade bias to stop him turning those shots <laughs> over to the left. It is not always the club. It can always be the pilot, but we've got a lot more adjustability in this club. So guys, we'll see you again next week. See you soon.